Hello and welcome to another Minecraft video. Today, I am playing a regular, what would you think would be a regular Minecraft world, but I actually have some mods installed. Now I don't have many mods, but I do have the Valkyrian Skies airship mod, and the uh, back and a backpack mod. I forgot the name of, but I will put links to both in the description below if you want to check them out. Now, there's a lot of ocean, and the airship mod isn't just for airships, it's also for boats. So, and there's very high terrain, so I feel like this is a, a perfect world for it. I did not use a seed. And I just loaded in and realised it was perfect. So I was thinking, oh, I wouldn't probably use boats, because I don't... I'm not lucky with ocean spawns, but... Here we are. Now, first of all, I think I'll just get basic resources, knowing that I'm in a really good spot for, like progressing and because to get the main bit to actually do anything with the ship mod I need gold because to make the ship helm I need gold but and I do need I think leather and wool so I'll have to find some animals but Shouldn't be too hard. I just need sheep and cows. Which. This is already a good spawn. Let's just hope it's even better. I just know. Terrible Now, before this, I did try the mod out a little bit just so I knew what everything was and, like, I needed for each thing. But I don't entirely know how to work them up. It took me to figure out how to make an airship go up. Which is literally just space. Because it's literally just the jump button. I feel like 18 wood is going to be enough. Well, 19 wood. 19 wood is going to be enough for now. That's nice. Let's do that. There we go. Got plenty of sticks. Okay. Let's get a, just a wooden pickaxe. Get some of the stone. I get stone tools. Stone age. There also seems to be lots of caves around here, which would be very good. As I do need lots of iron, so I can get lots of gold to actually do loads of stuff with this mod. Because I'll need one gold ingot to make the, uh, the ship helm. And if you don't have a helm, you can make the ship. It's just a pile of blocks until you add a helm. There we go. Okay. Looks like we have some jungle. Can you mine copper with stone? I don't. I genuinely don't know because I always just mined copper when I got iron. Oh yeah, you can. Okay, let's. Seems like there are some jobs about. I'm guessing they're all down here. Coal is another resource that we'll need lots of, but I think you can use charcoal. And if you got plenty of trees, you got plenty of charcoal. So that might be our main fuel source in this series. 24, that's pretty good. I don't know if I spotted another bit, but I think this cave is crawling with uh, 
mobs. But it does seem to go pretty deep, so... I may have just realized something. Because I'm running this on something separate. Because I've got up to fine. Means I have to actually place torches to see. I'll, uh, I'll just go up to find less for this. For this episode, and hopefully get it sorted by next episode. As I'm running it on a different thing, because usually I'll run it through my Optifine. But I'm running it through my mod pack. Don't got Optifine in there. That's cool. I think it's best to stock up on coal now. So I need lots for smelting, lots for fueling up stuff. Because if I want to have engines, which kind of necessary if you want a fast airship, then you'll need a lot of coal. There we go. Is there anything else down here? This is quite long, actually. Oh, skeleton. him hit. Sweet. Gonna get out of here before I anger any more mobs. As I do not have food. There's a zombie somewhere in there as well. Let's just grab some seeds. I think, for now, I'll set up base by the water until I can get the, the resources I need. There we go. And there we go. Just got some more wood. to set a base very soon. So, gonna head down to the water. You know, I'm gonna stay in my house until it gets to proper daytime. Okay, now it seems to be daytime. Can't quite see what that is, but I'm gonna make a boat and head over there. Not a mod boat, just a regular boat. Just a normal boat. Head over there and see what that is. That's quite nice, actually. Because I'm running out of torches. That's probably why there aren't many mobs in here. There's water everywhere. There we go, 16 more torches. Oh, nice. There's water practically everywhere. Maybe I 
OBS seem to be slowing down. I just had to pause for it to catch up a little bit. I do desperately need food, and so I'm, I might use those bones to make some bone meal. But I'll only have two bone meal, and that won't be enough to grow on. So that probably would be a waste. probably survive on two hearts, or at least a little bit. You can see my, my little box over there. Looks like it's been sliced. Ooh, that's cool. Got a funky biome nearby. Let's get the boat and let's get out of this cave. Underneath the uh, the thing. Let's break these if we can get any more seeds. Okay. I think for most of this first episode, it'll just be regular gameplay, knowing that I won't be able to get the the cool stuff. Mind slow. Damn. What is that? This is really weird. Well, there's a chest in there, so. and drown nearby, so I'll put that back. Hmm. Don't really want to go in the water. There we go. I have food. I need to go back to the base to craft into bread, but I have some food. Is there a chest in there? Doesn't look like it. Ah, there it's okay. Got a lot of wheat, okay. And a lot of coal. That's nice. No, I'm going to make another crafting table just so I can eat some food. Whew. Finally. There we go. That's better. There is quite a lot here, so I'm just going to pull this whole thing. Just these separate buildings before. 
But I've never seen them in like groups, and I've never seen like that. And usually they're not made of sandstone when I see them. Don't know if I've just been really unlucky or if these are something completely different. Well, they're all the ones that I've seen have been a lot further underwater. So it might have just been that they were dark. There we go. But I have definitely never seen this. seem to be anything in here. Nope, nothing. Hmm, that's unusual. If you do know that there is actually meant to be something there, and I just didn't look well enough, please do say in the comments so that I don't lose some cool stuff. Yes! Okay, that's the chest. Let's break it. Ooh, emeralds. Oh, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get That was close. What happened to the coral here? Seems like it doesn't really like it when I'm in the water. Oh, I have an unbreaking three and an unbreaking one fishing rod and a buried treasure map. And I have three chests. I can put those in here. Now I have four chests. That's nice. And I got a replacement stone axe. That's also good. <laughs> got a lot more stuff than I thought there would be. But it seems I'm gonna I'm gonna make a furnace. Don't need it for anything at the moment, but I'm gonna make a furnace. Just so that I have it when I do need it. I only need one. Why did I do that? Boom. Gonna put all this stuff at the top instead of the bottom. There we go. So I don't lose this up with this here. And those. I think I'll do a little bit of fishing. There we go. Yes. Actually, I do have stuff to smell, but I think instead of wasting loads of coal on a furnace, if, uh, if a fish would be a good source of food now, I think I'm just going to go back up here, get some logs, and build a campfire. I think most of the caves in there, that's a creeper. I'm gonna avoid the creeper because well, I was about to say most of the caves are 
have a roof of floating gravel. Reason why I'm avoiding the creeper just like at all instead of going to fight it. Is that if it does explode, even if I avoid the explosion, it could cause a lot of damage. Because it could trigger an update on all of the floating gravel. Send it all flying. Or oh, flying falling. Imagine if explosions launched gravity blocks. That would be so weird. Mm. Anvils count as gravity blocks, so the explosions would launch anvils. <laughs> I didn't actually go what I went. I didn't actually get what I went for. I need. I have. Yes, I have all of the uh, ingredients I need to make myself campfire to cook fish. I think I have the ingredients to make campfire. Place this outside and let the fish cook. And I guess wait for a day once more. And I'll see you guys when that is. The sun is very far rising. Uh -huh, and my fish is cooked. I'm not going to look at the water. There we go. I'll have the fire and the water visible at the same time. <laughs> there we go. Is there a little bit more fishing? Whoops. I didn't realize my mic was muted. So, I'll probably have to do something about that. Either just cut that bit out or record a, a separate bit explaining what happened and then just put something over it. Don't even know why my mic was muted. But, I've got 10 levels now. You didn't even realize until I checked the, the sound levels. Realized that there was no sound coming from my mic. I honestly wish I had noticed earlier. Because that would be like about five minutes without any sound. So, what I'll be doing about that, but you guys will know when it's uploaded. I did not put the torch on that part, that's good. The only problem with having different sources of food in your hotbar is that it means you have less space for stuff that you need to count. There we go. And we've reached the end of this cave. Ooh, okay. Ooh. Okay. That's fine. But the next bit we need to go to. There's a bit down there, which I think I will avoid for now, but I've just remembered. Oh, this bit that we didn't go through because we heard a skeleton. Hmm. 
Let's do it. Oh, that's a spawner. That's a dungeon. That is a that is a skeleton spawner. Ooh. That is not the best. But well it's amazing in the long term. Not so great right now. Oh my god. Uh oh. <sighs> my computer keeps having this thing where it just keeps auto clicking. Don't even have no one to click or open. Wait, if I make a trap. Bye. Big hole. Skeletons to fall in by going come here, come here. Yeah, this might work. This might work if he stops climbing the vines. You good that dude? Can I reach him? I cannot reach him, okay. Well, I have just realized that he is... That's not good. I have fallen into the trap, that's not good either. Ah! Oh. Got that. Okay, well let's uh... Get back there. Okay. I think. Oh, as it's just Zapu's, I will be back when we have a We are back at the cave. Haha. I knew it would work. It just. Didn't work when I, wanted, when I wanted it to work. All right. Now let's reorganize my inventory. And put this stuff back here. But this is very useful. So we can now make a skeleton farm. Spread that is a lot of gunpowder, which I guess will be useful if we're trying to defeat the Ender Dragon. Ooh, 13. That's 13 again. Iron. Yes, more iron. Ooh, some redstone. More on flesh and saddles. This is all good. Let's get out of here and continue on. That is quite a big drop. I fell. <laughs> that didn't work. Okay. Well, let's just uh, explore through this cave. This is a lot bigger of a cave than I thought it would be. Am I back? Have I done a loop? I think I have. But there is still more. Well, oh, this is it. That wasn't very much coal. Ah, here's a little bit more. We've got, what, 13? Yeah, 13 iron in total.
I think we've done it. Yeah, we've done a loop. Oh, that went down into this gap. That's nice. Give me an easier way down. Alright. I thought that glowed like it was iron then. That's a little bit annoying. Oh, I think we'll have to use a lot more iron than I thought, than I first anticipated, because I just remembered we would need many, many shears. Hello. Lord. <laughs> Just got jumped on by a creeper. Bit aggressive. just straight up and out, or if there's more? What? Wait a minute. This cave is circles. And there's more. There's a lot of circles in this cave. That was not much. <laughs> anyway. Looks like we've got all the resources out of that one. So let's head back home with all of our resources. Avoid any mobs on the way. Ooh, flowers. And let's get back home to start smelting the sign. And to make an iron pickaxe first. Maybe an iron axe too at the end of its durability anyway. And that should leave us, if we got 13, that will leave us with 7 iron, which I'm pretty sure is enough to make one piece of armor. Which will be very handy, because I know we have a gold helmet, but I'm not really going to use a gold helmet. Actually, it's not got anything on it. I might as well, I don't know why I didn't put this on earlier. I was thinking, oh, it's gold, it won't last long, but like, I've already got iron. Put some of that in there. We've got two discs of 13, which is nice. We got some more bread, more arrows. We have nine bones, so maybe it is worth making bone meal now. Some redstone, some saddles, some gunpowder, which is pretty cool because. You can put, like, TNT cannons on these airships, so I feel like a TNT-loaded airship to be to fight the Ender Dragon will be pretty sick. So I think we'll hold on to that gunpowder. But we do need... some of this. Because we need... Ah, four sticks, perfect. Boom. I'm pick. Isn't it iron pick? Oh, well, yes it is. Let's see how much of this is smelted. Six of it. That's nice, I can make myself an X now. Now we are more dangerous. Let's put those in there. Yep, we have seven left. Oh, it's night time. What is what can you make with seven? You need eight for a chest plate. Seven is leggings. So we've got a helmet and leggings. Yeah, there we go. I knew seven was an exact piece of armor. So we've got trousers on and a hat. Cave over there, let's take the boat. Let's 
rather large cave right over here. I think that's a, a water side cave as well, but like a more water side cave than this. I think they are the same cave. Let's test the hypothesis. I shall take the boat and go around. There was a water side cave over here. Oh, that's the other bit that I saw. Seems to be a lot of caves over here, but not the cave that I thought there was. Alright, let's, let's see what's in this cave. Because now we're just looking for a little bit more iron. And gold. Ah. Hello there. There we go. There is another zombie behind me. I will just walk out to here. Around. Oh, what? Where is the zombie at? Oh, that connects. Okay. Where did that go? I'll pick the boat up in a minute and go through there. Because I'm not swimming all that way. Get coal. I feel like we don't need all this coal, but well, we don't need it yet. But if we get more of this coal, it means that we don't have to get loads and loads of charcoal. Oh, there he is. Get out of here. Why do the zombies look like Steve? They're wearing the exact same clothes as him. That's... Oh my god. <laughs> Damn. That was pretty cool. So I guess... When the zombie and skeleton fight, it's a zombie wins. It just cornered the skeleton. And the skeleton didn't really know what to do. Damn. The zombie was ruthless. Well, that is kind of cool that if like, a mob attacks another mob, they will fight. It's always fun to see a fight between two skeletons. Because they'll stay like. They'll always stay the same distance no matter how they move. There we go. This is a big cave. I don't think I've been looking very intently, because I've just been focusing on not getting killed. Okay. Nope, that's in here. Oh. There's a little gap here. Make it bigger so that we can fit through. Let's keep going. I think I'll keep my axe in hand. Just in case we run into any more mobs. Um, nope. More copper and more coal. Nothing that we want. What are these caves? Got a like an. <laughs> okay. Guess we now know that it's night time. There's that. There's that. Uh, little spider did not hesitate to attack. That's a very large drop. And I am running out of torches. Um. 
Maybe nothing. Got one more torch. No. <laughs> well, that's a little bit annoying. Oh, there is still some coal here, so I'll grab this coal. There's no iron at all. I think what would be amazing is if I find a ruined portal. Because a ruined portal will always have a gold block. So that'll be nine gold just sitting there. But knowing how everything's high up and there's like no flat surfaces, I don't think that I will be getting a ruined portal spawn nearby. The reason why I'm not doing the uh, buried treasure map, and the reason why I keep putting it off, because I really want to do it when we have a ship. So I feel like once we make either a boat or a plane or some vehicle with the mod, we can go and get that ruined treasure. Ruined treasure? Hidden treasure. What? <laughs> How much coal do I even have? Um, stack and five. And there is more everywhere. Oh, absolutely everywhere. Getting a lot more coal. I think with the uh, the first one, the first vehicle we're gonna make is gonna be like the simplest it can be. Because I have not found any sheep, and to be honest, I don't feel like making a blast furnace. This is a very lot of coal. I was just thinking about the uses of copper. And like, but wouldn't it be sick if you had a copper sword that you could enchant with um, channeling? Because it would make so much sense. Because, like, you make lightning rods with the copper. So then if you use the copper to make a sword, you can enchant it to channel lightning. I think that would be amazing. Anyway, let's... Let's find our way out. Let's go get some sticks. And be straight back in. Also, that... There is one tree up there, that's cool. I think I'll leave that one edge tree alone when I go over there. There we go. Here's the surface. Still no animals? Damn. Guess we have to search to be able to search, I guess. Because once we search for sheep and get some sheep, we will be able to make a ship reason we need wool is because having wool will allow us to make the balloons. Did I get any strength from that spider? I did not. That's annoying. You can also use string to make the balloons, but... Ah, here we go. Nothing. Nothing but copper. That's kind of cool. There we go. What's over here as well?
There are a lot of caves. Nothing. There's that cave over there. That looks like a cool cave. Anyway, let's find the cave that we were just in. Um. Oh yeah, it was connected to this one. There we go. Let's head back to where we were. Did we go both ways? Did we go all the way this way? It doesn't look like it. No, we did not. Or did we not? I do not know. There is coal here. There we go. More gravel. There's lots of gravel. Um, well, I guess I'll be able to make lots of concrete. If I ever need it. Hmm. This is a lot of cave. Just a bit of up. Um, hmm. There's not much here. Why can't I find any iron? I found loads of iron in the first cave and then no iron in the rest. Oh, this is one cave, but it's one massive cave. It's way bigger than the other one. Might be the wire level that I'm on. Yep, 72. That is pretty high up. Okay. This bit's been entirely explored. That's it. Just to little block with a bunch of vines in it. Okay. That's... Well, first of all, we eat some bread. No, no, let's continue on. There we go. No, let's head this way. This is just going up. I feel like our best bet would be heading down the the drop we saw earlier. Yep, nothing here. Nope. Yep, let's head back. Find or refind the the big drop. We'll go like in. Where was the drop? Was it through here? Alright, that's why I didn't fully explore the cave. Because I went through this bit. Okay. 
No, this bit just ended at a dead end. I have no clue where I'm going. I'm actually lost in here, so... I think I'll be back when either I find something or I'm at the drop. So, I have found the drop. Took me a while, and I did not find anything else. Now I need more iron just to get a new pickaxe. What level am I at? 48, I'm still quite high. Though I feel like where I found iron last time was also pretty high up. What's with that? I guess these caves are just pretty empty. These are such big caves as well. There we go. Finally. Two. Oh my god. I mean, I'll take it, but... I was kind of hoping for more than that. Oh well. Oh. Where'd he go? Um, that looks like quite the drop. I'm guessing the skeleton's still alive down there, but we'll just avoid that bit for now. Yep, he's still down there. I'll go down there eventually, but I won't just yet. Ah, more iron. Okay. Now I can at least replace my pick. There we go. That's more like it. But there is iron. Yes. And water. Yay. And I'm against andesite. I do like building with andesite. I think andesite is my, uh, my favorite, just basic stone. I'm a little bit annoyed that the, uh, I need gold before I can build any ships. But it makes sense. It means that you can't just, like, immediately build a ship and just, like, fly everywhere. After all, the only other thing that allows you to fly is the elytra, and that's after you beat the ender dragon. Skeleton seems to be gone. That's copper. That's iron. That is very square. I know everything's a cube in Minecraft, but usually that's not that exact. That is literally three by three with a perfect place to put a torch. That is quite the drop. I've got 14. I think I'll make a bucket, grab some water, come back here then. But I could mine down, but I don't think I have the durability, and I need to 
save some of my durability to get out of here. I have made it back to outside. Now we can go home. It's not the sign. And get a bucket. I think the bucket is the main thing that we need now. Because I'm also going to check how much that's growing. Smelting time. Okay. Let's make sure that's all full. Put all of the bits of stone and bone that we found back in here. Let's get some more sticks to make. Oh, okay, that's good enough. There we go. Now we have a few more torches. Not in the 28 in there, there we go. Oh yeah, I just remembered. I don't think we will be using a chest plate. As the backpack has to go in the chest plate armor slot, like an elytra does. Okay. Nope, I only need two. Let's make one of these. And one of these. And I need more food. Water bucket. That island looks really cool. We're on this one. This one, is that even this, the same island or is that a separate island? I have no clue. <gasps> We're almost done. We can finally get more crops. Okay, let's... I think I'm gonna go straight back into that cave. I think I'll explore around here a little bit more. The dude goes, I think. No, all those caves seem pretty high up. Does God have a specific Y level? If it does, that will be very handy, because, like, if it's got a specific Y level like diamonds do, then I can just aim for there and mine that, instead of wandering around aimlessly forever. Oh my goodness. <sighs> this is so much iron. Just sitting, like... A short hike away from my house. That is... Oh my god. I've been looking in caves this whole time. And like, all the iron I could ever need is literally just like, round the corner. <laughs> On the surface. That's already ten. It's already more than I've got in any mining trip. I just got on a mining trip was 13. I've got 19. Um. There we go. There's more islands over there too. That's nice. I think we will be building a boat eventually, or just flying over there with a plane. I was just thinking, 
because I keep mixing up the uh, glow like and iron. I should the ores good. Like, it does, but like constantly. But like, it wouldn't be like all glows, because then like you wouldn't need torches. Because coal is just so frequent. Like, coal and copper, they wouldn't grow. The stuff would. After that, I think I'll head back. But knowing that OBS or maybe my computer doesn't like the water, I think I'll just see you when I'm over there. I'm back home. I didn't stop to press record outside because there was a creeper, and I did not want my entire house going up in smoke. That's still not yet grown. This should have all smelted. Let's put this in here. Let's make boots. Now we have shoes on. Get the helmet on. I don't know how much we would need to make stuff out of iron because most of the time the airship, you want it to be light, so the only really thing we need iron for is blast furnace to make the engine. That's literally it. Oh, ooh, that's sprint. I think. Can I auto jump on? Oh. <laughs> okay. So, let's see what we've got. Knowingly got no gold. This might have gold, but I kinda wanna do that after I've gone there. I think we'll make a, a iron helmet. There we go. And I'm gonna keep that for trips to the nether. Cause that's always handy. Put that in there. Now I don't know if there's much really for me to do this time, so as this smelts, I will next time I will head to this buried treasure map, find some gold, build a ship to to find the buried treasure, and if the buried treasure has gold, I will use it to make more ships. If I could find nine other, if I could find eight other helmets, I could just smelt them all and just make an ingot now. <laughs> but I want to keep this one. And I don't have nine. But I feel like searching for the for that bit of gold will be for next time. So see y'all the next time. Good. Bye.